Good morning. I wanted to chat about self-awareness this morning. Something that I have started to notice as I read other people's school community posts and have conversations with people over the past, I don't know, couple weeks. Not exactly sure how to structure this, but I'm noticing that a lot there that it's more common than I thought for people, guys, especially younger, to mm, how do I phrase this? I'm seeing <laughs> I'm seeing questions and statements and things where self-awareness would solve the problem. I think I think that makes sense. You know, I see posts like and, and things like, "Oh, you know, I I want to get into business, but I just don't know what to do." You know, I'm starting a marketing agency, but like what do I do now? How do I, whatever. And as I reflected on, on these questions and my own journey, the more that I, the more that I live life and the more that I have some of these conversations and read these conversations and questions, the more that I'm just grateful for the path that I took. You know, a lot of this for me started in COVID and and moving across the country like I had no I had no friends <laughs> where I was living. Uh, maybe one. And then I moved to Denver also had no friends except maybe one. And I think back on that time and, and just think about how much introspection, self-awareness, journaling, thinking, trying to like wrestle with passion, purpose, interests, my life trajectory, everything in between. And it kind of felt obsessive potentially in the moment and I definitely lacked social skills and all that but looking back on that like I I now view that time period as the foundation that I'm standing on right now I've figured out generally the direction that I want to take my life, at least for now. I'm not saying this is like for the next 40 years, but I've found a direction that I resonate with and a, you know, five-ish year plan, rough plan. Don't, don't think I have an actual plan out here. Um, that I think makes sense for me and that has come through experimentation, doing a lot of journaling, trying to figure things out, trying to wrestle with these ideas and, <clears throat> and I'm, and so I, yeah, I just wanted to share the, the perspective that I'm now seeing. It's like when, I don't have a good example, but there are times when, when like you have a conversation with someone else and you just take something for granted and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, you know, driving around the, along the road and you know, I noticed that the sky was blue and they're like, the sky is blue. Like I thought it was green and it's just like one of those moments where 
you know, you see someone questioning what they should do or like one of these surface level questions and I'm like, uh, like you need to understand yourself. Like you need to take the time to introspect and figure out what you want in your life. And nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna answer that for you. And I think it's, it's very common nowadays for young guys to just want to do what people are saying they should do online, on social media. And that's not inherently bad. It's only a problem if what they end up doing is not like what they actually want to do, you know? And again, that's only going to come from experimenting, trying things, and introspecting, and analyzing. And so, <clears throat> anyway, it's just a lot of perspective that I've been gaining here. And um, I'm starting to see self-awareness. <laughs> I'm starting to come back to Gary V. I mean, not watch his content, but come back to his message and think, like, he spends so much time, so much time in his content talking about self-awareness. And I'm like, I understand now. <laughs> it's, I think, the other thing I was thinking about on my way up here, I almost want to say that taking that time to be so like independent and introspective and so and figure out what I want. Again, I don't want to say, I don't want to give the impression that I like have a five year, 10 year plan and, and like this is set. I still have no idea what I'm doing, but I found a direction and started to find interests that have resonated with me. And, and so I think taking that time to introspect and sacrifice the progression of my social skills I think it actually was actually worth the trade because I mean similarly to the video I posted a couple days ago it's like well if I went back and spent less time introspecting and more time trying to go to parties or like social events or whatever um, now you know it's all shoulda coulda woulda hypothetical I'll never know, but um, I guess the question would be, are those the people that resonate the most with my goals, looking back? When you compare them, those hypothetical people, with the people that I've started to meet in the last year, I think there's a drastic difference, and so I would, t I would take the trade of self-awareness over more quantity of friends. Anyway, just thinking about self-awareness and how much it's helped me and how I keep coming back. I keep coming back to just being grateful for the self-awareness that I've developed. And I wish I could impart that on you, that learning. So anyway, I think that's it for today. Self-awareness is key. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.